As a longtime Mac user, I've spent many hours finding the best Mac apps I just can't live without. From productivity to security, here are the five apps I install first on my Mac. The first app is Magnet. Magnet enables Windows-like functionality where you can drag apps to the edges of your screen and snap them into a split screen view. It's available as a $4.99 one-time purchase in the Mac App Store, and I've used it daily since discovering it many years ago. I was originally a Windows user, and the Windows snapping feature was one feature I just couldn't live without on macOS. Thankfully, with Magnet, you don't have to. It's a lightweight app that runs automatically in the background, so you don't even have to think about it once you install it. You can navigate to the icon in the toolbar to snap a window to a specific size, and you can also accomplish the same thing through customizable keyboard shortcuts. Magnet is a must-have for Windows users converting to macOS, and even if you've been a Mac user your entire life, I still think you could benefit benefit from Magnet for productivity. The second Mac app I can't live without is Backblaze. Backblaze is available for both Mac and Windows, and it's the most cost-effective way I've found to back up my important files. Backblaze is a cloud backup service with unlimited storage for $9 a month. That may sound spendy, but depending on how many files you have, it could be an insane value. I've got over 16 terabytes of data backed up to Backblaze, and if I were to back up the same amount of data to Google Drive, I would need a Google a workspace account with an additional storage add-on that would cost over $300 a month. Backblaze runs seamlessly in the background and it takes care of itself. I don't have to babysit it and all my files are uploaded automatically. Now, it's important to note that Backblaze is not cloud storage. They only back up files that you store locally on your computer. This is to prevent people from cheating the system and treating it as unlimited cloud storage. Backblaze backs up 16 terabytes of my data, but that's because I have an an 18 terabyte external drive that I keep plugged into my Mac Studio at all times. They'll back up unlimited internal drives and external hard drives, but external hard drives have to be plugged in at least once every 30 days to remain active. Even if you only have a small amount of data to back up, Backblaze still has advantages over cloud storage like Google Drive and Dropbox. In the event of a hard drive crash, Backblaze can mail you a hard drive with a copy of your files. You can plug the drive in, copy the files to your computer, send the drive back and not have to pay any fees for use of their drive. I'm not sure if you've ever tried to download 500 gigabytes or one terabyte of data at a time, but depending on the speed of your internet, this could be a serious headache. And if you're relying on Dropbox or Google Drive to back up your data, you'd have no choice but to download a potentially large volume of data in the event of a hard drive failure. So that's why I think Backblaze is a great value, and it's one of the first apps I install when I get a new Mac. Another valuable task you can perform on your new Mac is to hit that subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be the first to know about new videos. The third app I install first on any new Mac is Goose VPN. I think most of us understand the advantages of using a VPN in certain situations, but before you skip over this, I promise this is not a pitch for some expensive subscription-based VPN. In fact, you can purchase a lifetime subscription to Goose VPN for a $29 one-time fee on Apple. AppSumo. AppSumo was kind enough to sponsor today's video, and you can find all sorts of lifetime deals on AppSumo for productivity apps, website builders, CRMs, and anything else you may need. AppSumo told me to handpick my favorite deal to feature in this video, and Goose VPN immediately caught my attention. It's available on Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android. Plus, you can use Goose VPN on three devices simultaneously with the lifetime deal. The VPN supports streaming with dozens of countries to pick from, and the strict no logs policy keeps your internet service provider and public Wi-Fi networks from seeing your browsing activity. Using a VPN is just smart, but the subscription fees start to add up. That's why the Goose VPN deal on AppSumo immediately caught my attention. I'm pretty impressed with the performance, and for a lightweight VPN for casual use, I highly recommend Goose VPN. I'll have the lifetime deal on AppSumo linked below. Thanks to AppSumo for sponsoring today's video, and be sure to check out some of the other lifetime deals on useful software at AppSumo. The fourth app I install first on my Mac is Bear. 
Bear is a note-taking app for iPhone, iPad, and Mac with a markdown editor for easy formatting. You can create headings of various sizes with pound signs, and you can quickly make something bold or italicized with one or two asterisks around the text. The markdown editor takes some getting used to, but after adjusting to it, I've grown to prefer it. Bear focuses on minimalism, but you can still add tables, images, and code blocks to your notes. Bear is free on iOS and Mac, but there is a pro subscription required to sync notes between devices. I'll be honest, you'll either fall in love with Bear or think it's pointless. I can see the argument that it's pretty similar to the stock Apple Notes app, but there's just a special touch about Bear that makes it stand out to me over the Notes app. I think it's the visual markdown that caught my eye early on, and I've been a happy pro subscriber for years. And the fifth app I install first on my Mac is Transmit. Transmit is a file transfer app with support for FTP, SFTP, and storage containers like Amazon S3 and Backblaze B2. I'll be honest, Transmit is an app I've tried to go without many times. It's not cheap. It's a $25 a year subscription on the Mac App Store. But every time I try to use FileZilla or another alternative app to connect to a server via FTP, I always get frustrated and come back to Transmit. It's got a clean, simple interface and it just works. When I was a Windows user, my go-to FTP client was WinSCP and when I switched to Mac, I could never find a comparable app until I found Transmit. Transmit has an optional sync feature to sync your servers and keys between devices and this is invaluable if you have multiple Macs. If you use FTP even a few times a year, I think Transmit Transmit is worth it for the added convenience. It's much more stable than the web file management panels your web host gives you. So those are my top five apps I install first on my Mac. Some honorable mentions are Spark and Brave. Those are both essential to my daily experience, but I didn't include them on the list because I wanted things that were a bit more original. Another essential app is a password manager. I know password managers can seem intimidating, but they're actually easy to set up. I've got a full guide on setting up a free password manager that you can check out here.